What's up guys, it's Russian Magic here today and uh, I'm happy to be back after a short little break. Um, I hope you guys had a nice Christmas or holiday break. Um, I'm feeling a little, I was feeling a little bit un under the weather also, that's why I haven't been uploading lately, but I am back. And today I am, I have a really cool mental illness effect that uh, you can do it with any deck of cards. Uh, there is a setup beforehand, but first let me perform it for you guys and then I'll teach it to you. So here is the performance. Okay guys, so this is how you perform it. And today I have the beautiful Gnostic Answer helping me uh, as my spectator. So uh, I'm going to have you choose a card here in a second after I give this deck a nice little mix. Alright, would you like to cut the deck for me? Would you like to cut it again? You can cut it as much as you would like. It doesn't matter. Just whenever you feel like you're finished cutting the deck. But don't, don't take forever. Okay. Alright, so what I want, what I'm, what's going to happen here in a second is you're going to cut the deck wherever you would like and um, I'm going to turn my back and you're going to peek at the card that you cut to. Whatever card that is, just remember it. Alright, so go ahead and let me just go ahead and cut wherever you would like. Okay, make sure you peek at that card. Okay, now just shuffle that packet up so there's no way I can know where it is. All right, let's shuffle that one up too, and uh, go ahead and shuffle them into each other, just so there's no way I, there's no way I can know where your card is or anything like that. All right, you happy with that? All right, so now. All I have to do is figure out your card. Now, I'm getting, I'm thinking it's a red card. A heart. Alright, I'm thinking maybe the four of hearts, was that it? Yeah? yeah? Well, isn't that crazy? How I figured that out. Well, uh, I hope you guys are ready to learn it. Because this is how you do it. Alright guys, so welcome back to the Excel Nation. Uh, I'll get to this piece of paper in a second and like I said there is a slight setup but the setup is really easy and technically it could be done impromptu because the setup is basically just your average new deck order deck and I mean if you uh, want to you could uh, have a new packet of cards unopened and just have them in this order uh, the order, but if you don't have a new deck of cards and uh, all you have is your old deck, the order is basically it goes hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades, and the hearts and the clubs are kind of paired together from ace to king, and the diamonds and the spades are paired together from king to ace. So just look at that real quick, get your cards set up in that way. Um, I did I did think of this principle myself, but I'm pretty sure it's not an original card trick, just because. Uh, it's pretty simple uh, and all it is is um, what you need to have what you need to know for this trick is basic math and a pharaoh shuffle and if, uh, if you don't know a pharaoh shuffle I'll leave a link in the description where you can learn to do it and not even for this trick if you don't know it I do advise you to learn it if you're serious about magic it's a very it's a shuffle you need to learn how to do but basically what it is is a it's a uh, 26 by 26 perfect shuffle and you really need it to be completely perfect. It needs to be a perfect pharaoh for it to work. And the hardest part about a pharaoh shuffle is cutting it exactly in half. But for since the deck is set up like this, you, you know you cut it in half if you cut it to the king of clubs because he's half. And the best way to do it is hold it at its side, guesstimate how much is half, and bam I got it on the first try. And what I do, and I don't always hit it on the first try, is I cut, and let me cut a little bit off. I, I look, and I see the jack of clubs. And what I do is just real casually kind of pick up two cards just like that and 
pick off like that. Now, I'll get more into this in a second, but when you pharaoh, when you're going to pharaoh, you need to note what card is going over. Is the king going to be the bottom of the deck or the ace? You need to note that, and it will change the math up a little bit, but not too much. But every time I pharaoh, I usually have the ace go over. See, right now I got a perfect pharaoh. So what, what this will basically do, it will do two things. Not only will it look like you shuffle the deck to the, your spectator, it also shuffles the deck, but at the same time keeping it complete order. You can see that all the reds are on one side and all the blacks are on one side. And not only that, it's alternating space club, space club, space club, and hard diamond, hard diamond, hard diamond. So uh, this is why I have this piece of paper right here. Now, if you notice that it's split up into two groups, uh, there's ace and king. So remember I said uh, that it's that the note what card is on the bottom, the ace is on the bottom. So I'll be paying attention to this column right now. And basically, diamonds and spades are uh, are grouped together, and hearts and clubs are grouped together. And the number 15 and 14 matter, and that's the only numbers you really have to remember. And what that means is basically, you're going to, and if they want to beforehand, they can cut the deck a few times as much as they want, as long as they're just doing normal cuts, it won't mess up the order or anything. But since the deck in, is in the special order, wherever they cut the deck to, to look at the card, all you have to do is get a peek at this bottom card. And you can see this bottom card is the five of diamonds. Okay, so according to this group, diamonds are 15. So this card, I know that it's a heart for one, because that's a diamond. And I know that it's 10, because 5 plus 10 is 15. And it is the 10 of hearts. Alright, let's try another one. Uh, let me give the deck a few cuts. Alright, so I cut the deck, I look... I see seven of hearts. Hearts are paired with clubs, but the hearts equal 14. So I know seven plus seven is 14, so I know this is the seven of diamonds right there. Let me try to get a black card here somewhere. All right, there's a black card. So a spade, spades are with diamonds, and they both equal 15. So, well, that's easy. We just did this kind of. This is the 10 of clubs right here. If we were to pick cut here, we would see that. It would be the four of spades, obviously. Now, let's uh, pretend that they cut the deck and you see the ace of spades. If you see the ace of spades, this card's not going to be black. It's going to be a red card. And the, the card it's going to be is uh, the ace of hearts because that's just how it, it ends up in the deck. So just remember that the Ace of Spades is with the Ace of Hearts. And just remember that as well as that, remember that the Ace of Diamonds is with the Ace of Clubs. So if you were to cut the deck and see the Ace of Diamonds, you would know that the card they have is the Ace of Clubs. And that's easy to remember. So just kind of remember that. Uh, I'm going to talk to you real quick how you would portray it. So they cut the deck. You advise them to cut the deck wherever they want. All right, you take this packet and turn around. Just turn around and tell them to pick at, peek at the card, show it to everybody. And as you turn around, you look at this, look at the card, which is the nine of clubs. So, and when you look, see, all you want to do is just remember the nine of clubs. You don't have to do the math in your head right then and there because you're talking and it's kind of hard to multitask. If you can multitask and add the numbers up, you can. But personally, I kind of have a hard time talking and thinking at the same time. So I just remember, just quick glance at the n bottom card, remember the nine of clubs. I still don't even know what their card is. I turn it back around, and with this packet, I just show them, just shuffle it up. I tell them to shuffle up. And what this does is I'm covering my tracks. I'm, I'm getting rid of the order. And what this does for them is they're... Uh, the card they have is the five of spades, but what it does for them is they're also just shuffling up their pack and getting rid of the order too. So 
they're doing the cleanup by shuffling the pack so you end you end the trick scott clean and then you can shuffle both the packets together or whatever all right and then right now you know you know you saw the nine of clubs and right now while you're acting like you're reading their mind or whatever you can be adding it up in your head so club clubs are 14 so 9 minus 14 is 5 the 5 spades and I showed you the card it was the 5 spades so that's basically the trick it's really easy to do now real fast I'm going to talk to you about what if the king is on the bottom it's exactly the same except the numbers change a little bit I already have a deck ready for you in that order it's pretty amazing so if the king is on the bottom, diamonds are still with spades and hearts are still with clubs, except everything gets knocked down a notch. So diamonds and spades aren't 15 anymore, they're 14, and hearts and clubs are 13 now, not 14. So it's still exactly the same, so let's give the deck a few cuts. Let's cut right there. We see the 5 of diamonds, 5 plus 9 is 14, so that's the 9 of hearts right there. And it's really simple. The black one, alright, so jack of clubs. A jack is 11, by the way. Queen is 12. And king is 13, by the way. And aces are 1. But since this is a jack, uh, clubs are 13. So this must be a, a, a 2 of spades. Because 2 plus 11 is 13. And wouldn't you know, I would be right. So it's really simple. There's a little bit of math to do in your head. But... The good thing about it is that while you do the math, you're already acting like you're thinking about what their card is, so you don't have to fake. And uh, on this one, same thing with the other group, it's, but instead of aces, they're kings. But the king, if you see the t king of clubs, their card is the king of diamonds, and if you see the king of hearts, their card is the king of spades. Now, I would advise you to stick with one of these. Uh, try to, when you pharaoh shuffle, try to keep always an ace on the front or always the king in the front, whatever you prefer. And uh, just practice the pharaoh shuffle, you guys. Uh, this is a fantastic effect, especially if you just bust out a new card packet because then there's no setup. You can just do this impromptu if you have a new deck on you all, at all times. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday break. And uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.